He sat and he waited. He said he knew she was coming, but I could tell he was scared. I was scared too. I don't want to do it, but I'll have to. Hey now. I'm sorry. I mean, everything happened really fast. Um, I tried to get to you, Rick. It doesn't matter. I tried to call. Hey, I want you to come with me tonight, right now. You were gonna mention the baby. Yeah. I'm. I'm gonna put it up for adoption. Um, they said that there's a Catholic hospital and they'll give the baby a really good home. They say. What do you expect me to do, Rick? I mean, go to Mexico and get drunk on margaritas? I can't do that. I am not asking you to do that. We don't have any money. I mean, we don't have insurance. Babies get sick all the time, and we need the money for insurance and food and a house. I'll sell shoes. I'll wash windows. I'll clean. I'll clean toilets if that's what I gotta do. I can make it work. And we'd end up. Splitting up after a couple years. If I drive all the way up here, at least you can look at me. Come on, look at me. <laughs> It's my whole life, Rick. That's what you're asking for. Yeah. I never said I was this tough. for the insurance or something. <laughs> you said nothing could change it. Alice, and once you love someone like that, nothing else matters. No, you don't understand, Allie. We could run away together, take a freighter to Bali, or drive all the way to South America on the Pan American Highway. It would be just the three of us, like that Stop. night. No one would know where we were. Stop it, Allie. You got it so twisted up, following me around like I'm some goddamn princess. Wearing my perfume and listening to my records, I'm just this girl that lived across the street from you, and I don't now. You have to go home. But I don't belong there. You have a family. You can't just leave them like that. Because if you did, it would just kill them. 
something. Just kill them, Allie. That's all. Alice, come on. You have a bus to catch. Go on, Allie. I'll be traveling on, so as soon as I land someplace, I'll drop you a line. Gave her a best shot. Come on, you better get on the bus. Allie, you. You'd be good. I wanted to call out to them, to say goodbye, or just to hey now. But it was enough just to see them together, one last time. I thought I was a dead man. But he said things about love and forgiveness, things I was only beginning to understand. Someone heard that Cheryl had run away. Mrs. Carpenter swore she saw her in Manhattan with an older man. Mrs. Rossi said she had an abortion in Mexico and was living in El Paso. But I got a postcard from Salt Lake City. Cheryl said that they were heading west, and so far things were going fine. And by the way, she hoped I had buried my record, and I shouldn't dig it up for 50 years. Hey, Alice. Hey, Max. It's me. Oh. Hey, I heard you ran away. Yeah. For two whole days? Mm-hmm. That's cool. You know, not coupled up with Catherine anymore. I didn't know you were studies. Well, we weren't. I mean, not really. I like her and all, but her feet were kind of big. You know, getting a Chevy Coupe when I get older. V8 and red. A Chevy? It's nice. Take you out for a spin sometime. I mean, if you want. Maybe. Hey now. The 
The Russians never did invade Long Island, and Mr. Rossi turned out to be all wrong about seeing Sputnik flying over his backyard. But I learned some things that summer, things I'd never forget. I dream. 